Hello, I'm Arnold, and today I'm, I'm gonna. I did some uh, experiment with uh, React, and it was a very successful experiment. And this is on server side rendering. So let me show you the demo first. So now we have an app, hosted.media.com. So you just simply refresh the page, and you get the data. Let's so load it is fast. And if you go to the source code, you can see like now the HTML comes with the uh, with your you, your initial HTML page and we have the fast render to get the data as well so now you can see like now we have through SSR uh, actually using react and the way you like you can load this page and you can see on the source code just you, you got the data right so it's very clear so let's look at how we have implemented this one so basically, uh, we're using a flow router, and there's a new one called uh, React Layout. So React Layout manage the how, how to render the uh, the React components on the both server and the client alike. So let's see how to write this kind of application. So basically, you're using flow router. So you you have to uh, mention subscriptions like this. You normally using flow router, and now of course, and you, you can even use a subscription on the component level as well. It works without any issues, and then. Uh, we got uh, React layout to render the uh, component to the uh, uh, to the DOM or the server to the to the strings, and then now uh, we have like uh, this is block layout, and in, in the block layout I'm I'm passing some regions as a content, and we have the post list, and here we have the post page. So if you look at the layouts, we got the block layout. It's pretty simple React component, and we have the props then the content, the regions we pass coming as a coming with props. And you can simply render this one like this. And if you look at the uh, components, we got the post list component. It's so using a React media data, and you get the data using post uh, the find like this. And you fetch it, and then in the, in the render function, you simply iterate over the post list and do to render the uh, the items. And the post page is also similar. You simply uh, pick the the single post and try to render it. And you can see like here, so I haven't done anything to work with server-side rendering. So uh, I just write my application in a way that I normally write, but I, I simply wrote it in a way that it uh, shows on the both server and the client alike. So now, so that's all you have to do. Let's flow out will be a uh, flow out and uh, react layout will take care of the, all the hard work for you. And it, it will filter the data for each router and it will work as you expected and it's working pretty well. And that's it, uh, we're going to release this with uh, Flow Router 3.0 and which is coming, uh, like I think, uh, maybe one or, yeah, maybe one month from now, maybe one and a half months. And that's, uh, this will be really amazing and we are pretty excited to work on this. Thank you.